Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Victory at Sea Pacific episode number 14. In the last episode we had some really good action, I would say. And I feel like I may have over, I haven't seen the comments from the last video, but I may have over given myself, I, I said this, I was going to err on the side of giving myself too many fighters, just because I'm not really sure what the deal is. But I'm fine with limiting myself to what I have now, um, which is, I mean that's not a new development, that's the plan from last episode. And let's see how these attacks go. In the meantime, oh shoot, did I just bug it? I probably just bugged it. In the meantime, um, how are our reaction forces coming? First of all, this group of subs is much more valuable now that they've lost, I think they've lost some of their destroyers, maybe. And what the hell are these fighters doing? I don't know. But hey, we have Carrier Task Force Able. They look like they might be in a position to respond and help save us. And I don't know what the best way of playing these fleet engagements is, even the aircraft engagements between um, an airbase and uh, a carrier task force. Because I, I want it to be fun. I want it to be fun for myself. I want it to be like a nail-biting experience where if I'm, out, if I'm outnumbered, like I, I certainly am here, I'm okay with losing. I want it to be that way because I want it to be entertaining. And I feel like I didn't get the balance quite right on this one but anyway okay let's just, I mean let's at least run the darn game right and hopefully I didn't just ruin my b-17 is my b-17 back down to the ground or is she happily in the air she's happily in the air that's fantastic in fact she's done a very good job climbing uh, I hear the naval guns uh, a booming the naval guns a booming sounds like a poem I think it might be uh, these destroyers I don't think are long for the world and that's proof that one of them is not long for the world very soon for Dave Jones Locker and we have our big um, that's right our big sortie of aircraft are all making their way to one last defensive effort from there we just wait and see what happens um, I'm not going to get any more aircraft so this is our gamble our gamble is to send one big group of airplanes and see if we can overwhelm the uh, the defenses. Now, I it, it wouldn't be a wise wait idea for me to do this if I wasn't also yes exactly sending some fighters. But I think I'll leave the other three fighters not to take out um, uh, enemy fighters, but actually I'll leave them for base defense. So we have one fighter who's I'm not even sure what I was intending to do with this one. But he's going to make his way towards the enemy fleet. We'll see what happens. Maybe they launch some zeros. Uh, and the rest of my fleet is launching to sortie out to the aircraft carrier. So our Dauntless is there. Our Wildcat in the front. The Avengers. And gosh, I think we have one B-17 remaining. Oh, right. That's the one way the heck out there. Should be way the heck. Oh, it's way the heck up there, I should say. Yeah, but this is good. I think this is good because this wildcat can actually help defend against the b-17's adversaries which is how it should be it should be an escorted b-17 so let's see how this goes and uh, like i said the lack of destroyers is going to make those submarines much more valuable there's our return i love to see this this is what really brings the immersion back for me when you see like one wave of aircraft returning and oh and now, I, I'm glad we didn't use the strategic map. We actually see the carrier. And we still have our bombs on this. Not that they're very effective, but hey, we might as well go for it, right? Let's get the B-17 highlighted. Make our way that way. And actually, you come back towards me, the B-17 itself. to climb. I think that they're going for us. So we're just going to act as a protecting force. And I might not do manual targeting from 9,000 mother effing <laughs> It's like the highest of high altitude bombings. We, ne we definitely need a very, very, very good uh, targeting computer to correctly bomb from that height. So maybe not, maybe not. Anyway, let's chase this zero down. I mean, this is, in my opinion, the most threatening. 
fighter in existence right now because it's the only one I'm seeing. Now, we have a whole bunch of people all going the wrong way. Let's correct that as well. So let me do it this way. Let's get this wildcat over by that zero is where I want to go. So go this way. And I'm fine with them staying at that altitude for now. Dauntless go this way. I also want this Dauntless to climb. So we're actually going to have you drop since this thing is... I, I believe it is going up towards my... Is it going climbing? It seems like it's climbing. I think it is going to go for my B-17. Let's see if we can discourage it. And get my B-17 some kind of... It's a good course. Yeah, now we're actually using, like, I feel like good tactics. We're coordinating. We have an escort for our B-17. They, I, I'm just going to pretend in my head, are changing their bomb loadouts, getting ready, getting their fighters rearmed, doing all those kind of things. Can't tell exactly where that thing is, but I think it's below us. And maybe off this way. But I don't see any other support coming to help the Zuokaku. And what's weird is I don't see any of the other carriers. It's like she's alone out here. Although it's actually reporting to more than one contact here. And by the way, I think... Which way are you going? Yeah, you're going this way. Go ahead and drop our bombs, since they supposedly will hit <laughs> more or less if we do that. Uh, this guy's still below us. So let's keep dropping. Kind of want to see. Maybe we get lucky here. I know what this zero is doing now. Yeah, way, way overshot. That was terrible. I'm just going to give the order to intercept because I don't know what these guys are doing. I, I don't know what the zeros are doing. My guys are, are actually appear to be successfully intercepting, or at least attempting to successfully intercept. Since we didn't get ambushed at this level so far, I may go ahead and even bring us down, but let's do that. Let's wait until the actual engagement for that. Are these guys engaged yet? I think they are. They might be going after each other, too. Oh god. Well, one for one. That's I'm this is great. I like that it's now working. I'm okay with losing all four um in the engagement. Holy cow, we actually won that one. See, I think that the experiences I had were just bugged. And what's going on now? Go back and land. You are a hero. Another hero. This is great. So, I uh, yeah, it must have been the other experiences were just bugged, and now we're actually having success. We want to lead a little bit. In fact, we want to lead by a lot. We want to come in at her angle, more or less parallel to her course. Uh, I have some cool fractal thing going on right here. I don't know if you guys can see it or if it's just on my screen. And hey, what do you know? We have our Avengers ready to go. Uh, this is this is amazing. Like, what is going on with their their like defense is completely broken apart. And I know I have my Dauntless somewhere. My Dauntless ought to, at this point, go back and destroy this um, destroyer because that's the last submarine defense they have. And I don't know if she'll be needed in this in this engagement. We, we have the capability of launching a lot of torpedoes at. I think that, yeah, we've actually out paste our B-17, which if I click here will probably give me, doesn't even give me a red line. She might be too high to drop, but I don't see any protective fighters coming out, so let's drop down to like you know, 5,000 or whatever. You are given the order to land, and I think you are coming back. Great. Things are starting to work. I'm just, this is wonderful. 
I mean, this game is amazing when things aren't bugging out. It's really great. All right. We don't need to descend quite yet. There goes our escorts. Can imagine the Avenger pilots realizing that they're clear for a final approach on target. And what's better, all the better, is that there's no, for reasons completely unknownst to us, there's no uh, escorts for this thing. We're just, we're left alone with an, a Japanese carrier. And I think she's not even moving. I'm not sure what's going on with her. What, oh the, okay, so our wildcats just landed. We are on final approach to the target. Let's put our movement cursor right on the front, right on the nose. I'm going to let the Dauntless um, just move this way, but probably will, okay. All right, we need to switch, by the way, to V formation so that everyone gets down to, I'm learning, see, I, I can be taught. And I don't see a wake, so we're gonna go ahead and. Well, it's just, it's important enough that we don't. We just gotta wait for the target. We're gonna take some losses here. That's fine. We just don't want to miss. Turn a little bit. Turn a little bit. All right. Go ahead and drop. Okay, drop, and return. Not not at all. Uh, you know, it's not fun to take out a non-moving target. Hmm. Again, not really sure what's going on there. We get one carrier for free. Man, I and this one engagement was really fun. So the B-17, I guess, is <laughs> also... Now going to be tasked with looking for the next carrier, which maybe is that what I see over there? I see something. Yeah. So we'll get the Dauntless to go this way as well. Are, maybe once we destroy one, everyone else will start waking up. Who knows? Uh, this is obviously not the way the Zuyukako should have gone down. Um, I'll try to go to the strategic map. I may even like land everyone and give them a chance to remove their bugs. I don't want to fight like this. This is not the way it's supposed to be. Now nah, she's moving. Yeah, so it looks like it just took a hit for her to realize she needs to move, but at this point, already crippling damage. She's immediately starting to list to the starboard side. She's nosing into the water very quickly. I think that that's pretty cool. That they're, It appears that they're modeling the damage correctly. Way faster. I mean, this is obviously a huge time dilation, but she's listening to the right. She shouldn't nose over. She should probably just... I mean, even a thing like this should probably just capsize. I imagine that's how it would go, at least. Okay, so let's see. Is this fleet moving now? Are you moving at all? Did you get scared? In yeah, they're moving. Good. Hooray. So whatever bug, it only took one of them to. It only took them to lose a carrier, for them to begin moving again. I think we'll find out when the other two. Get there, and again, I'm gonna let's go back to the map here. Let's give these units hopefully some time to for their AI to wake up. It's just not how you want to win it. It's just not how you want to win the the war with a bugged AI. So, speed up to times eight. I think these guys are getting pretty close. I don't even see. Oh, good. So I think I saw some activity. Okay, the Hiryu's not going to go down to one dive bomber. She might even miss. Where's our B-17? 
also up there. At least we have to aim this time. <laughs> Probably, honestly, difficult task to hit from this height. Let's drop way down, 3300. I think that they're trying to launch aircraft, which is fantastic, but they're waiting until they are turned north. So this is pretty cool. This is like, we have to get this done before their fighters come out. I think they are trying to turn north in order to launch. All right, prepare to drop. Is that it? I th they're a little bugged out still, unfortunately. Hopefully this will take their bugged behavior away. Yes, good. And there's the zeros. Well. Got him. All right, B-17 is going to do its best. I mean, by doing its worst. Let's switch back to her. Switch to somebody else, then switch back. Okay. I think that's a pretty good course. Now let's turn a little bit more. And... Drop bombs. Drop bombs. You didn't drop bombs. Why did you not drop bombs? I don't know. Ah, they got us, though. Well, the Dauntless did well. She performed admirably. Gonna try to launch again. From this angle, maybe? You know what? I'm not gonna do it. I, look. I just can't do it. I want the AI to defend itself. I don't want to win this campaign like that. So I'm going to give the B-17 an order to return. Let's just get everyone to return and we'll start over afresh. Hopefully I can maybe do a save game. I think I'll do that actually. I'm just going to save the game real fast. I'll do it on camera. That's fine. We'll get the B-17 home first because I don't want to lose her to some bug. That also would suck. Or you know what? It doesn't even matter because if she gets bugged out and dies, I'll just replace her. Should be like one of the replacements I give myself. So... Let's swap you. Two more. Sorry. Uh, just repairs I just take too long, so we're going to let the repairs happen a little faster manually. Okay, so we have five bombers still. It's not bad. Oh, yeah. The, so this one's a goner. We lost... Sorry, not five bombers. Five fighters. We lost our last dive bomber. So now we have one B-17 and four Avengers. Hey, sweet. I like that. I think that's fair. Um, the two carriers are all by them lonesome now. Maybe we just let them get away. I dislike everything. I dislike everything. We gotta save and reload. Okay, we're gonna let them get away. Ah, uh, well, are they gonna attack still? Alright, let's do this save and reload thing. Alright, save. Let's save it as tort 14 mid. And let's reload immediately. Tort 14 mid. Kind of a bummer, yeah, but that's okay. If this doesn't work, I can always, um. The heck? Why is my. I don't know what's going on. Uh, we can always reload. I can just restart the game entirely. Okay, so we're here. This thing's moving. Let's see if that helped at all. Our level bomber's returning. Ah, it looks like it's working now. Three fighters are dispatched probably to take out the level bomber. Good, I'm glad. I'm glad that we were able to get the AI back. I feel bad that we lo they lost a carrier before. But at least they have two carriers still. We did the right thing, not by, by not attacking, so. Okay, Task Force 17. My god, we missed with the destroyer leader, but that's fine. They're fast enough to catch up, thankfully. <laughs> Brother. <coughs> um, what else is going on, by the way? I mean, we are moving to Marshall Islands. That's f good. We are desperately in need of replacement airplanes for the Wake Island Group Carrier Task Force Able. CTF Able. Task Force 19 doing his thing, and 
Task Force 22 is going to still do its movement. It's kind of cool. It'll show you if you move here how much you know you have left. Not a whole lot, sadly. So we will. I think we're just gonna barely move this far. Maybe b like bomb or raid KVNG or Rabul. Just cause some destruction. Maybe catch a convoy, and then actually we'll be fine to return to making a toll if we do this. Now we'll barely be okay, but we can still return to making a toll. So let's just. We could go scout Truck Lagoon. What's our objectives? Raid Wake Island, which we didn't get credit for. I guess we didn't do enough damage. That's okay. Um, okay. Ten. Gonna have to cut this episode short. Just a uh, limited time. Really happy with the way we pulled off from this, though. It wouldn't have been fun. What the heck? Wake Island is sent... Well, look, I'm not just going to let your fighters go home free. I think that that will... Okay, so let's launch our B-17 now. Will they respond? They did, right? Right away? Awesome. Okay, so let's do it this way. Let's play this game. We'll launch three of our fighters to counter theirs. And we'll do this all on the strategic map. Maybe that'll make a difference. And they launched 12 fighters. Okay, yeah, now we're in business. Now things are happening. We'll launch our other two fighters. And you know what? We're going to launch our dive bomb. I mean, our torpedo bombers. What are you going to do now? Japanese fleet, react to that. The more casualties we can inflict in any way right now, the less that Carrier Task Force Able has to deal with. We also are not going to be able to get this submarine into the action as I was hoping, so we're going to move to Wake Island with her. Task Force 6, I think, still just holds steady on her course. Uh, this is lumbering, so I'm going to get the Enterprise to do the turn. Send four up and see if that makes a difference. Okay. Let's do this attack. Don't know how this is going to work. Let's do... Let's try to pick on... Let's try to pick better odds. Okay, so we lost some aircraft, I think, but not all of them. I think these torpedo bombers are just going to be done for momentarily. I think whatever happened, I'm just so happy that now everything's much more, like, it seems to be working better. I'm really happy about this. And the cool thing is... I gave myself a limit and we can just try to use that limit now. So we have sorry, one here and one here. We have two reserve, that's it, that's the last of our reserve, but better time to use them than now. In fact, right now, let's go after this group of oof, 12. Well if I'm lucky they'll lose some to anti-aircraft, so push through, don't land yet. Let's see what happens. Do they start taking losses? This is the strategic map. So I don't know. Okay, go back and land. I think we're going to get into an engagement now. Looks like that's what's happening. 11 fighters. Not sure exactly what's happening, but our torpedo bombers are actually getting really close. Um, look, I don't know what to do about you. You are not listening to my orders. I'm really afraid that this guy actually is that low. These guys are at zero. That's my... Okay, so D Dennis was saying... I'm um, sorry. Uh, yeah, Dennis was saying that... Wait, what are you guys doing? Are you not trying to intercept? Let's 
break you into two groups. Are you guys going to intercept or not? Wow, this is crazy. We might actually have a chance to engage here. That speed had something to do with it. I really don't want to... Oh, God. What are they doing? I don't know what happened here. We lost another group. This one needs to be repaired. Okay. Fine. We have one left. Uh, we took out two fighters. I guess that anti-aircraft wasn't working. But hey, this is the good news. The fighters are all distracted. The hell? I just don't understand what's going on here. Can you guys... Are you capable of engaging or not? Okay, they suddenly switched, uh, suddenly like turned on. We're like, oh yeah, we do need to intercept, huh? Just try to line it up. And then, I mean, we're basically at the point where we need these torpedo bombers to begin their attack run. So it's a little unfortunate I have to micromanage this. No? You're not capable of doing that? Alright, I hope that works. Let's go in. Okay, uh, immediately they are doing weird things. <laughs> yeah, you are at a good height, though. I might have to bomb from this height, because I don't know what's going to go on with the... All right, we're going in. I like, really like now that we only hit that first carrier with one dive bomber. It just feels really like it was the right thing to do. I think that fuel usage is based on altitude, so maybe the first one was lower the whole time and had less, wait, shouldn't it be higher is less air resistance, but your engine works harder. I guess there is a trade off there. Yeah, it's more air starved. Unfortunately, I think we're going to have to call this episode to a premature conclusion. <laughs> no, I'll put a cut in here, but I do have to take a quick break. So we'll see how this goes in a second. I'm going to just be thinking about this the whole time. Will these dive bombers, I mean torpedo, will I ever get those two things separated correctly? But no, will our torpedo bombers successfully arrive on target? We'll find out very soon. Okay, here we go. We're going in for the kill. Our torpedo bombers are nearly close enough that we can... Let's get them first of all into V formation to make sure that they're all going to be maintaining the same altitude so that nobody wastes their launch or doesn't launch. We see uh, the two Japanese flat tops. We'll be leading them. Nearly time to dive down to the deck to prepare for the launch. Um, I don't think we want to come in at too much of an angle. This is probably about what I want. We're going to take a little bit of AA fire, but the good news is this is not a fleet. This is just two carriers. So let's speed up time while we're approaching. Okay, probably slow down time again. Alright, let's go back. Now let's lead in. Alright, now we're probably going to start taking AA fire, but just hold on. Let's wait until we're pretty darn close to get this kill. We may lose a few of these Avengers and we'll see how they fare as well. So far I'm pretty comfortable with the chance of success. Let's make one final turn. And one more final turn. And let's go ahead and drop. So let's drop 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 and then I'm going to do a little bit of whoops angling with this one just to make sure we really hit all cover all our bases okay now get all of them to just turn directly away and gain some altitude. And we'll see if these any of these torpedoes hit. So far, we've only lost one airplane. No, make that 
yeah, just one airplane. There's, okay, but we're taking a lot more losses now. The Akagi is turning. I don't think it's going to be possible for her to avoid the torpedoes. I mean, we did basically fly point blank, and now we definitely took some losses. Two, four, four of our... Uh, you know, she is... Is she as fast as these torpedoes? Because that would be a real bummer. So three of our twelve... Uh, no, she's going to take some hits. In fact, I think she's going to take not just some hits, but enough hits that it won't matter. Okay, here it comes. The explosions. Two on her port side towards the stern. Another two right at the aft. Right, I mean right at the bow. Oh man, six. Six torpedoes. I mean, it was no, there was no question after the first four hit. I'm pretty sure. I didn't see the hit points, but but the last two in the middle is just going to make everything worse. Now, she, for some reason, she's listing the starboard side after being hit on the port side. Maybe these are counter, -flood, counter flooding <laughs> measures. Or maybe it's just a coined graphic. That's fine. It doesn't matter, even if it is. So probably that's what the last one was too, but the aircraft are falling off. And uh, mission mission accomplished. I would say that the Avengers performed very well. The torpedoes are just darn slow. I didn't realize how slow they are, but in the end it was you know, just basically futile for <clears throat> Futile for the, um, wait, we have a B-17 in the area as well? Yes, we do. Okay, well, we might as well go for it, right? Try our luck with one last, uh, you know, chance. Okay, this... <laughs> Let's get all these guys to return home. They might encounter on their way. <laughs> a very unfriendly set of Japanese fighters, but... I don't think those fighters have anywhere left to go. Now, we didn't lose a single f squad in that, so that's great. Did we end up killing this fighter? I think we did. Yeah, so it looks like we took some losses here. We did. Which means that we probably did end up shooting down. What are you guys doing? That's a joke, right? You're not really going that direction. Well, let's not touch them. For a moment, at least. I think we do have some... Yeah... Some Avengers were deciding to mutiny. Got that sword out now. This one last carrier... Oh, so these are going home to Wake Island now. Okay, so we're going to have to intercept all of them with our fighters, which means that Carrier Task Force Able is going to be extremely depleted of fighters by the time she's done with this whole mission. But you know what? That's also okay because... She won't have a carrier fleet to fight. She'll only have one carrier. If we can get the drop on them... We should be okay. So, mainly I'm just looking at this level bomber. Do we have anybody else we want to send out? Now we have three wildcats. Let's send them out because I don't know what the last Japanese carrier is going to launch. So I think it would be a good preventative measure just to prepare in case. I mean, hey, if they can actually catch up with these fighters, which I, I highly doubt they can, Okay, let's just give them a movement order over here. They apparently were a little bit a little bit bugged out. And we have some two fighters over here. What the hell? Well, that's disconcerting. Oh, um, so I was given a notification that when these guys are on happy face mode, their radar is not operating, which is not the case. We can increase it to force them to, you know, be operating it. Um, we can give them extra speed, which sounds good. Morale is good. Uh, navigation, turn speed I don't really care about, but it's only one person, so that's fine. We don't need those, we don't need those, we don't need those. Fuel system, we can save a little bit of fuel. Uh, fire control, we don't need weapon accuracy, so let's turn that off. We do want the speed and damage control success chance. We can turn that off. 
We'll just put one person in there. Special a action success, we'll leave that. Okay, good, so how does this leave us at? Positive per day. Now, I wish I could save this exact template. That would be a really nice little feature. If you could ap apply a, the exact template to multiple, um, like every ship in this ship class, if I could apply that, that'd be great. We can't do that, so we'll have, we would have to go off. But it looks like that they do use their radar, or at least, uh, I think Dennis is the one who was ta telling me about that. He'll probably have a comment, hopefully enlightening me further. But yeah, it looks okay. Um, from this whole debacle in Midway, the one thing we did learn is, whatever the case is, we need more scouting aircraft. So, for example, Pearl Harbor. Let's get rid of the torpedo bombers, and in place of that, let's add two more. Two more scouts. I think we're going to be very appreciative of that. <clears throat> and actually, what is the range of the B-17s from Pearl Harbor? Probably pretty far. Oh yeah, they can't quite get to Johnston Island, but they can definitely support if we capture any, I mean, find any Japanese fleets in here. Well, there we go. So, oh, this level bomber is at the target. This will probably be the last thing we do. My god, really at the target. Just drop down in a very, very, very big hurry. But we're going to want to try to line up a shot from the rear, I think. T to, like, align ourselves with her tra trajectory. That's what I think we'll want to do, at least. And she's actually... Uh, the, I like to roleplay this as she's moving over to pick up survivors from her sister ship. Yeah, if we can go down to 3300, I can... I can be assured of a much higher chance of success. I think she's actually going in circles here. Which is going to make my job much more difficult. Maybe she doesn't have any fighters left. I don't really know why she wouldn't be launching otherwise. Okay, she's bugged out. I don't want to... I'm just going to drop bombs. I'm going to intentionally miss her. Maybe hit her. I might have hit her. No, I missed. It was close. That was nice and dramatic and close, but she's bugged out to hear you. <clears throat> hear you. Okay, good. So, <coughs> I didn't, kind of didn't want to hit with that one anyways, frankly. I don't think we're going to be able to get to those fighters, so we're just going to let them go. But maybe these fighters can take care of any fighters um, that this carrier has. We'll just save and reload. So that, but for now, I think we're going to call the episode to a close here. What I'll do is off camera, I'll do another save and reload and see if that gets you know some better result. We're really on track to take out these fighters and their return to Wake Island. I don't know why they're returning to Wake Island, but um, I don't think we get points for that. Speaking of points, we do have 1,000 war bonds, which is, the, I mean, obviously this is exactly the amount we need to upgrade a minor port to a, uh, wait, a basic port to a minor port. Needs 1,000 war bonds. I guess that we are, like, a rounding error away from being able to do that. Or, no, I, mean, I don't think we need to wait. But we do want to save a little bit for the upgrades though. We have Task Force 17 eventually coming in. We should probably route her just directly back to Pearl Harbor at this point, since now we know that she's not going to be immediately needed to defend Midway, for example. We've gotten lucky enough. And we'll see if this one carrier just leaves. I think that that's actually what I want to happen. Not that I, I don't want to game the system by like, I don't want to play stupidly. If a target of opportunity presents, I want to play like a real commander would and not, hey, we're winning the war, let's make it easier for them. No, that's not what a real commander would do. They would try to, you know, gain every little advantage they could. However, because this is not really realistic, it's just, it was very buggy the way the whole midway battle played out, which, you know, kind of par for the course with this game, right? You, you gotta take the good with the bad. 
So we'll see what happens when we load back in and maybe things are better. If not, we'll just make do with whatever the situation is. If I, ha if I end up killing this carrier, so be it. The Japanese have, I think, I think they actually have eight or, well, they have a lot of carriers at the game start. So they're still at an advantage compared to me. And we know that we don't know where the other carriers are, so that's that's the fun thing. We still have more of this cat and mouse carrier hide and seek to do. So thanks for watching, and until the next episode, take care.